welcome back to my channel so today i have one more topic for you for research support which is on tricks tool so this is a tool which is ai based and this is very useful for reference formatting so we all spend a lot of time in formatting the references based on the journal templates and based on the journal formatting styles so let me give you a tool today which will be useful for changing the formats with just a click of a button so we know different styles of references are there like apa style mla style harvard style vancouver style and so on and we always get a lot of uh, difficulty when you are going with formatting of references so it is easy when you have some 10 or 12 references but just imagine you are doing a, a review paper where you have 200 300 references or you are doing a thesis where you have more than that of references then definitely having a unique style of references and maintaining the format throughout your uh, uh, article or throughout your thesis might be very difficult so this tool will be very useful for those kind of issues so let me show you a demo how we can try to use this so first of all i have to go for the tool so it is www.tricks.ai so this is the website okay so here i want to show you the styles so you can see they have a lot of styles acs aipm ama apa chicago style mhra style nature style oxford style plus one and others also are there okay so in this way there are lot of styles available which can be explored okay so uh, you can paste your reference here okay you may have a list of reference with you you can paste it here or you can upload the documents so imagine you have your uh, references in a document you can upload that file also so let me just try and show you okay so i will try to paste some references which i have okay so i have some reference with me so i'll just copy this and i will paste it here and maybe i will try with the apa style okay and here is the button which you are supposed to click click it so you can see it will ask you to create an account okay so i have already created an account so you can sign in first and try to create an account and then log in through that okay so now it is doing the job it is trying to transform your uh references that you gave into the apa style so it will take some time so it depends on your internet speed so in case your internet speed is good it can happen very fast or it might takes a slightly more time so most of us have this issues with references we we find it very difficult or we find it lazy enough to do those kind of uh, formatting jobs so doing research or doing work is fine but writing and uh, formatting that is usually a tedious job for all of us so these kind of tools will be very useful for reducing some of the burden okay so it's taking some more time so what it usually does here is it based on the references that you have pasted it will search it online okay and it will put the missing things like in case you have not put a volume number or in case you have not put the doi or page numbers it will search from the database and it will fill the gaps here okay so you can see now the data is ready so this was the input that you gave so these are the author names this is the title of the paper this is the a uh, journal name this is the volume and this is the page number this is the year of publication and this is the doi and this is the pubmed id okay so now the changes that they are doing is mentioned here so you can see what changes they have done right so some things are cut 
based on the format it is rearranging it okay and there is a option also here you can put a tick mark or you can put a uh, uh, this thumbs up down so that trains it even better okay so next time it will do it better so in this way you can train it so in this way the entire changes what it has done you can just see here so certain times it will just mention right so you can see here suggestion so if you feel that the whatever suggestion they have given is fine then you can use the suggestion so in this way there will be some uh, comments which they give which you have to check and then you can see the output so now it has completely formatted your input into the output as per the requirement of APA so in this way you can try to do it and finally you can export it so this is the button you are supposed to press to export it once you press it it will uh, get saved to clipboard I'll just show you that so it tells, it tells that the text is copied to clipboard so what you can do is you can just open a word wherever you want to save it so I'll just open a word and I'll try to save it see the entire thing is saved right so in this way if you have like 200 references also within a click of the button you can try to save it okay so this is the advantage of this particular tool okay so now I've just showed you how to do it so let me give you some more inputs on this so imagine now you want to do is the same uh, operation what we have tried to do now that is changing the reference style but you do not know what is the style that you want okay so what you have to do is uh, in case you are supposed to publish your paper in some journal you are submitting it to some journal you have to follow the reference style of that particular journal so I'll just try with one of the journal applied nanoscience okay so this is the area that I'm working so that is why I'm just uh, showing for demo sake a uh, particular journal so where do you get the reference style so reference style of the journal you can get in submission guidelines so this is the guidelines for the authors so once I click this I can get the author guidelines and in the author guidelines you can see there is references so if I click on the references I get to know how I have to put my references so they tell you the different styles so you can see journal article should be in this particular format that is author name year and then comes the title of the paper the journal name and uh, volume page number and DOI so what I do is usually I just copy this and I put it in Google Scholar okay so once you put it in Google Scholar this paper has come here okay so you can see I can even just put only the title okay effect of variability one sec okay so this is the paper right so you can see there's an option here right so once you use this option you can see that there are different formats MLA, APA, Chicago, Harvard, Vancouver so these styles can be copy pasted even from here okay but the tool which I told you has even more styles so in case you're using some of the other styles which are there in that then you can definitely use that so now I will just check the reference style here so it is like name fx something g is the name and then you can see there is a year and then the paper title journal volume page number doi so if i can compare that it falls almost close to apa style right so it is not exactly a particular style so a certain time this problems we face that is the journal will have their own template of references which is not same as any of these so you can see it is almost close to APA where you have to just club this okay FX should come together and these commas has to be removed and this is fine here is there uh, the title is there the journal uh, uh, name is there volume is there page number is there but DOI is not there so now again you will have a double work that is to put the DOI but in case imagine you have 200 references and it is haphazard it is in different styles and then uh, while doing the literature review you have just copy pasted the re those references at the end but now you have to make it uniform right so there you have this APA it is almost close to APA so now when I'm using tricks.ai I can select APA mode so that it becomes almost close to what I have to submit and then the limit uh, uh, remaining small changes I can do it myself okay so in this way I've come to a conclusion that 
the reference style that I want is almost close to the APA style, right? So now what I do is the same thing I do. I have the entire set of 200 references. I paste it here and then I try to trick it as per the APA format and then I export it and paste it. And once I paste it, the remaining uh, small things that I want to do, that is maybe adding the DOI or adding the uh, volume number or something, the small thing changes you can do. But this will definitely help because in case you have to do it from the scratch, you can just imagine how much patience, how much time you require. So this will almost do it to the same style, but a small changes need to be done. In case the journal has their own template, own format, which is not according to the normal APA or MLA or Vancouver or Chicago or those styles. Slight variation in case the journal has, then you may have to do that. But in case the journal has the same template like APA or MLA, so they will mention that in the author guidelines, please follow the author guidelines. So once they tell that it is according to this particular style, then you can directly use this tool, just copy paste, just one click of a button that is tricks it and you can directly export it and put it in the manuscript and directly submit it to the journal. So this is the advantage of this particular tool. So I think uh, the demo is uh, clear to you, you have understood how to uh, use this tool. So definitely this will help in having the consistent style of references. So you can do small changes in case the journal has their own template. So that becomes an additional work, I agree. But definitely when you have a, a list of references with you, this will reduce your uh, time and reduce your uh, hard work. Okay, so in this way you can save a lot of time. So you can explore this tool even more. So please create an account and try to forget the referencing headaches. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me till date. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel Geeks and Geeks, please do support us. Please subscribe to our channel and please press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get more updates on it. Thank you.